What is this 1.5 inch thick steel rod that came through a ceiling after a loud boom? A loud boom and then a steel rod suddenly pierced the laundry room ceiling, caught only by a cabinet, preventing further damage. The rod is 1.5 inches thick with a tapered end, and the house had been hit by a tornado not long before. No hole in the roof, no signs of entry. So what exactly happened? Does anyone know what this could be? The most likely answer? This is a digging bar a solid metal tool typically used for breaking hard ground. Its tapered end and substantial weight match the design. But how it ended up inside the house? That's the true mystery. If the tornado hit nearby, it's entirely possible the bar was launched like a javelin by the storm's immense force. Tornadoes are known to fling heavy objects like straw into trees or planks through walls. So a steel bar flying into a roof isn't out of the question. In short, it's a tool-turned missile. A shocking example of nature's raw power and a strange souvenir of the storm. What is this black electric device with glowing glass tubes that emits a mild shock? Housed in a cheap suitcase lined with silk, this mysterious black device accepts glass tubes that glow purple when powered on. It gives a mild electric shock when in use. Sounds like a prop from a steampunk lab. Does anyone know what this could be? This is a violet ray device, an early 20th century piece of medical quackery. Marketed as a cure-all, it supposedly treated everything from acne to neuralgia using mild electrical currents and ultraviolet light. The glass electrodes would glow due to ionized gas, and the mild shock was part of the healing process. Though once wildly popular, these are now considered pseudoscientific. Today, they're mostly curiosities or collector's items, more Dr. Frankenstein than Dr. Oz. Caution, they may look cool, but best not to actually plug one in. What are these small glass bottles cemented to the foundation of a house spaced about every 10 feet? Seen sticking out of the foundation like odd little sentinels, these Tiny glass bottles are spaced out at regular intervals, roughly every 10 feet. They're cemented in place and appear to have caps with holes in them. Curious? So is the homeowner. Does anyone know what this could be? These are almost certainly ant bait traps, specifically the kind designed to deliver insecticide over time. Bottles like these, with holes in the cap, are often filled with a sweet liquid laced with poison, attracting ants and killing colonies. In most cases, they'd be placed discreetly near problem areas. But cementing them to the house foundation? That's a bold strategy. So while it looks bizarre, it's actually a pretty hardcore approach to pest control. Whoever lived there before really hated ants and apparently had a serious DIY streak. What are these odd, hollow, inkless markers with holes and rubbery insides? Given as a Christmas gift, these markers were off, no ink, hard plastic tips, holes in the side. The interior holds a bit of rubber that feels like an eraser. No branding, just a barcode. Were these defective? Fake? Does anyone know what this could be? These are inkless magical pencils a modern twist on the traditional pencil. The writing tip leaves a mark via metal abrasion, not ink. The rubber piece inside? That's likely just an eraser. These are marketed as long-lasting, eco-friendly writing tools. You'll sometimes see them advertised as eternal pencils. The hollow shaft is just part of the minimalist design. So no, they're not broken or fake. They're just... futuristic and it may be a bit confusing as a Christmas gift. What is this small, four-legged metal spike device about the size of a palm, possibly from the early 20th century? It seems to have some decorative detail with no obvious signs of use, but rivets that haven't been hammered, suggesting it's never been attached to anything. It was found in a collection of old items and has an intriguing, almost ornamental appearance. Could it be a part of some vintage tool, or is it a piece of equestrian equipment? 
This is a decorative part for horse harnesses, likely from the early 20th century. Known as a harness ornament, such items were often attached to the leather straps or bridles of horses for decorative purposes during parades or special occasions. These parts serve no functional role beyond adding flair and symbolizing wealth or status, especially during the time when horses were more commonly used for transport and ceremonial functions. The four-legged design and rivets indicate it might have been intended to be fastened onto a harness, with the unhammered rivet suggesting that it's a pristine, unused example. The craftsmanship of such items often reflects the quality and pride put into the horse gear of the era. What is this triangular puck with a visible chip inside, made of white plastic? A sleek, triangular plastic object with what appears to be a Bluetooth chip inside. No buttons, no markings other than a mysterious internal circuit. It's light, smooth, and resembles some sort of wireless gadget. Does anyone know what this could be? This is the Blue Maestro Pebble, a Bluetooth-enabled environmental sensor. These devices are used to track temperature, humidity, or even air quality in real time. They sync with mobile apps to monitor the surrounding environment, often used in museums, logistics, or smart homes. Their design is intentionally minimalist, just a plastic shell over a compact, smart sensor. So it's not a lost part of a robot, but rather a modern pebble with a techie twist keeping tabs on the world around it, quietly and wirelessly. What is this small plastic device labeled MicroCheck with a chip inside? This curious gadget is small, made of plastic, and contains a visible microchip. The label reads MicroCheck and the name AZ Industries is on it. But what's it for? Does anyone know what this could be? It's a microwave leakage tester made popular decades ago when microwave ovens were relatively new. This device detects radiation leaking from microwave doors. When held near the seams of a microwave while it's running, a neon bulb inside glows orange if microwave radiation escapes. Although it's no longer a common household item, it was once a staple for the safety conscious, especially in the 80s and 90s. Many were stocking stuffers or kitchen drawer regulars. Not high-tech by today's standards, but a nostalgic nod to microwave-era caution. What are these two pointed wooden sticks connected by a clear wire found outside an office? Found lying on the ground near an office, this object has two small wooden sticks with pointed ends, connected by a short stretch of clear wire. It looks handmade, but is it dangerous? A tool? A prank? Does anyone know what this could be? This is a circular knitting needle. Each end is a tapered wooden point and the clear plastic wire in between holds the stitches in place during circular or large-scale knitting. Knitters use these to make hats, sweaters, or scarves in one continuous loop. No seams are required. So, no mysterious office conspiracy here. Just someone dropped their crafting gear. If you love uncovering strange and mysterious objects, hit that like button and subscribe. Stay curious. More finds coming soon.